Good morning. It's Orlando Gardner coming at you. Man, I'm here with another visitor, another subscriber, another grower. I really like this dude's attitude. This brother here has come over to visit and, you know, I meet a lot of people and I don't put everybody on camera. People come all the time, yeah, yeah. but it has to be a certain vibe, you know, it, it, it got a match. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. So look, y'all, I'm going to let this brother introduce himself. We we automatically click and um, he's sure. getting he's doing some things on this property. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about right, what's so going I'm, on? Uh, I'm Johnny. Um, I came I came out to Orlando about I want to say two years ago. Okay. Uh, I tasted my first uh, mango, which was a coconut cream. Fell in love. Went a little bit ma uh, mango crazy. Now I got about <laughs> sixteen different varieties. Sixteen. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so um, I, I actually uh, hit up uh, Mr. Ola Mr. Orlando Gardner. Take a come take a little visit. Yeah. And uh, we we took a little tour. Love love the place. Doing yeah. Amazing things. Trees looking wonderful. Yeah. yeah. We actually got a taste. Uh, lemon zest. I didn't get a taste this year, and it's top notch. I'm not gonna lie. It's 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 up there. It's up there with coconut cream fruit punch. It's a it's it's a good mango. Yeah. And um now nah, yeah I, I I I'm doing my own little project where I'm growing over 75 different tropical trees. 75. Yeah yeah yeah. Man, you so, got um, the bug bad yeah, too. I, I'm doing a little bit of everything. I'm doing a little bit of everything. It, not, I, I'm not 100% sure everything's gonna give, okay. but it's worth giving a little try, you know. Yeah, that's that's yeah, what's yeah, up. Yeah. So, so now this year you did taste some mangoes. Yeah, I did. you ordered them and you traveled. You traveled to Tropical Acres and you traveled to Truly Tropical. Truly Tropical. Yeah. So, uh, in and your experience uh, this year, grace, growing in grace, and growing in yeah, grace. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, out of the fruit that you taste this year. Uh, tell me what you like. What what mangoes really stood out? I mean, okay, for sure, lemon zest. Okay, lemon zest. I just tasted that today. Um, Malika. Mm -hmm. I, after I tasted it, I, I ended up getting a tree. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, hold up. Let me put the brakes on right there, cause uh, a lot of people. What a lot of y'all don't know. Listen, if you take a good lemon zest and a good Malika and put them side by side. They both have some similar qualities, so yeah. I'm not I'm not surprised that you put okay. lemon zest and Mali uh, Malika right there okay. side by okay. side. But um, I also tasted um, uh, Kis Kisar. Yeah, Kisar was another good. Uh, now, how did you like that? I haven't had that one you yet. I haven't had it. The first the first one I ate, I I think it might have been a little too overripe. So okay. I, I, I wasn't. I still like the 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 flavors I had. Yes, sir. Uh, the ones I tasted that were a little less ripe, mm -hmm. I feel like they were a lot better. Okay. So um, it, it's uh, to me, it's a, it's a good mango. I, hopefully, um, I didn't do any research to see if it was a polyembryotic or mono. Yeah. But I planted the seeds. I marked them out. Hopefully, they poly. Hopefully, I get a a, a, a tree true to true to seed. You know? True to seed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it must have been good if you're trying to get it true to seed. Yeah, yeah. De definitely was. Definitely was. So on a scale of one to ten, the kiss are what? What do you give it? Like, what do you give it? Alright, so coconut cream being a 10 Yeah Lemon zest being a 10 Yeah I'll give it 7.58 Oh yeah, I gotta taste it Yeah, yeah. I gotta I, that's, taste that's it That's my, you know, my personal Everybody has different flavors But yeah. that's my personal oh, Yeah I, I feel it's up there Like I wouldn't okay. I, If I if I would have bought a tree without tasting it I wouldn't be mad I got it Okay, okay, okay Well, I definitely gotta taste that So next year, I'm on board Any of y'all subscribers that have Kesar uh look i'm i'm willing to come to your property i want to taste that uh he's giving us a, a 7.58 and i'm i'm with that that's for yeah, sure yeah. i like trying yeah. new varieties i like that i like i like what i have you know uh but i like trying new stuff yeah. so what's next on your list uh, i'm gonna have to see fruit punch got the tree stuff yeah. it for my tree but i got to taste the fruit mm -hmm. phenomenal fruit mm -hmm. um what else what else i um did you taste plant pineapple pleasure? I I haven't tasted pineapple pleasure. No. Okay, you got yeah. the tree, but you don't. Yeah, yeah, you, okay. I haven't, I haven't tried the fruit, and um, I also I actually liked um, Sessie Love was a good man. Okay, yeah. yeah it was a good man. Sessie Love was actually supposed to be the mango to come along, because over over time, 
different mangoes have come along and you know everybody have their reign you know they doing their thing they yeah. superior and then some comes over and pushes that one down and sissy love was supposed to be the one to push sugarloaf down but it ain't doing it it ain't doing it uh it used to be uh uh um Man, Owen Sherbert was at the top before Sugarloaf came okay. along. But uh, Sugarloaf didn't come along. It's been the top dog for years now. So it's it's really tough. But Sessie Love is right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had two this year. The first one I had, I was like, oh, man, this this can't be what my buddy, because yeah. I, I got uh, one of my friends, I'm sure you've seen on the Truly Tropical videos, Audrey, Mm -hmm. She pushed Sessie Love just as much as I pushed Sugar Loaf. Okay. And so it got out there and people really got to trying it big time and they said how good it was. And so the first one I was expecting, wham, and it wasn't. Okay. But that second one, I was like, whoa, okay, all right, that's that's up there. So I agree with you. Yeah, and uh, another, another good mango um, was Kevin Michaud. Oh, yeah. and Pickery. I can't forget about Pickery. I, yeah. I ended up buying, after tasting some food, I ended up buying a Pickery tree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, Kara Michelle is Sugarloaf and uh, Coconut Cream sister. Oh, yeah? So, yeah, they sisters, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's not by coincidence. Uh, no, yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a good uh, combination right there. It is, it is, it is. So, give me um, 10 of the, the varieties that you have growing on your property. Okay, um... My first, I'm gonna go with the first property. I have um, orange sherbet, coconut cream, carry, uh, fruit punch, dwarf wine. Wow. Uh, in the front, I have a uh, Valencia pride. Mm -hmm. And then um, I got I got a, I got a, uh, some cocktail. Well, one cocktail tree where I don't have those actual trees, which right. is um, Malika. Uh huh. Is it? No, no. Sorry. Uh, Maha Chinook, Vest, and Ryan. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then I got a few more cocktails, but um, another okay, another cocktail tree. I got a uh, lemon zest, uh -huh. peach cobbler, pina colada, and I'm trying to add uh, pineapple pleasure to it. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's that's what's up. Wow. Wow. So man, you you doing it? You doing it well, man? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. You. I'm uh, learning experience. You know. Yeah. Trial yeah. and error. Trial and error. Yeah. Well, look, bro. Yeah. Learning is growing, and growing is learning. Yep. Well, man, I certainly appreciate you coming on out. Uh, stop by, and I'm I'm so glad that I had a couple of more lemon zest hanging out. As a matter of fact, when I came out this morning, I saw a lemon zest on the ground, and that's the one that we tried. I'm glad it was ready, yeah, right for you to come over here today. And man, I'm I'm very excited, and I appreciate your offer to even come and work in the garden with me. You know, that's awesome, and um. I, I definitely appreciate it, and I'd like to come out to your property and do some filming. It, it, and it doesn't yeah. matter how big or small yeah. and all that. It doesn't have to be, oh, wow, like the Empire State Building or something. I just like gardening, man, you yeah, know. You pass by whenever you get a chance. Okay. Yeah, that, for sure, for sure. That's what's up, but uh, appreciate it for sure. Uh, anything you'd like to say to the uh, YouTube? I mean, I, I just want to thank you for having me and uh, giving me the opportunity to taste uh, this year the lemon zest and... Uh, grabbing a few of those uh, scions to see if I can add to the cocktail trees. Yeah. And um, hopefully I, I start up a YouTube channel in the near future. I'm not 100% sure, but it might be coming. It might Bruh, be coming. do it, man. I, I miss it. Look, do it. Well, this is the Orlando Gardner coming at you. I'm glad uh, I'm glad that you all are watching the channel. And if you, uh, if you like what you're seeing and you like the content, go ahead and give this video a like. And um, so we're going to get ready to be out today. And uh, we appreciate you coming. All right, thank you.